I wanted to. No, I know you were on my side. I'm just saying yeah. when you say when they say, "Oh, Godfrey's being racist." First of all, let's define racism. Mm -hmm. Just because I say white people, let's say I'm just saying white, doesn't it, it has that has, that's not racist. I'm just describing yeah. a group of people. Yeah, that is when whites are uncomfortable, they throw that out at you. When they're uncomfortable with honesty, they throw that at you because it's this guilt thing. Because if we really look at pound for pound. Europeans have not been that kind of brown motherfuckers. That's real talk. It's in the fucking books, and it's happening still. So let's stop all that shit. It doesn't mean I don't have white friends. I don't. It, it, it is what it is. Racism. I'm gonna give you the definition of that shit. It's discrimination plus prejudice. That's racism because it's an institution. You know, you've heard this. Yes. It's institutionalized. You can keep people from buying houses, keep people from going to school. That's what's happened to black people. You keep us from getting loans. You keep us from buying houses. That's racism. And you can do it. You literally keep people out of country clubs. You can do that shit. That's fucking racism. It's oppressive fucking methods. Now, prejudice, by the way, look at the fucking word. Look at dictionary, motherfucker. Prejudging, prejudice means to, when I see you, I don't know you. What is this girl about? What is this guy about? Everyone does that. That's a natural thing. Cerebrally, let's go science. It's natural for the brain to go, who the fuck is that? Mm -hmm. Have conceptions. Maybe I've seen this. Maybe they're this. Maybe they're that. Then you get to know them. That's prejudice. Now, if I find out what you are and go, I don't want you in my neighborhood and you're going to stay out. Now that's racism. Mm -hmm. Now, when I'm just talking about uh, like hip hop is black, it is black. Fuck all what you talking about. Hip hop is black. Blues is black. Rock and roll is black. Jazz is black. Ska is black. Reggae is black. It's our shit. We started it. We invented it. I didn't say you can't fucking share it. I love that. As, of course. Yeah. But it's the disrespect that you have for us that we get pissed about. It's the disrespect. When I go to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Cleveland, I go every year and I got to see more white artists being praised than the black ones when they learned from fucking us. When I got to see Jerry Lee Lewis who stole everything from Little Richard and he was a racist fuck, you know, when they don't show Sister Rosetta Tharp who taught Elvis how to play the guitar, I get pissed. When they don't talk about the guy who invented the, gu the guitar in 1883, Robert Fleming, a black man, I get fucking pissed. When I'm in the Jimi Hendrix, um, Jimi Hendrix uh, Museum in Seattle and I don't see no black guitarists and I see a bunch of white guitars, I get pissed. That is racism. You're keeping us out of shit because that music is ours. When I say ours, I didn't I, see this is what people try to trick us into shutting up when i say ours i mean it's just ours because we created it but we keep black people share shit this is what the fuck we do and you know this we love to share our shit like yeah man talk to any old blues motherfucker they're the nicest people in the world now on the reverse side whites ain't always trying to share with us and then they want to claim some shit and say they started it i mean i watch a lot of rock documentaries music doc i'm a doc head mm-hmm they're made by white folks, so you guys should watch it. <laughs> Ken Burns is the greatest documentary guy ever. Uh, Magnolia Films, um, Gibney, Alex Gibney, one of, they're the greatest like documentary people. And in all those rock documentaries, all the artists say we learn from black artists, right? And some, black, some white artists would be like, and they were racist white artists that had learned the blues and going, fuck niggas and this, that. I go, but you're playing black music. Anytime you sing a song as a white artist and you go, baby, that's a black riff. That's a black riff. You know, uh, what is it? Um, Led Zeppelin just got sued from all the plagiarism. I love Led Zeppelin. I'm going to be your backdoor man. That's a like, blues riff. Mm -hmm. White people don't say your backdoor man. Rock and roll was a term that black people used to talk about fucking. I'm a rock and roll. That's a black term. B black groups, most of rock and roll groups were black. Period. When we say it's ours, we mean historically it's ours. That whole, that's racist, stop with that uncomfortable dumb shit you throwing at me, man. This shit is real. This shit is a fact. It's just that you don't, dis you don't respect black people enough to go, you're right. It doesn't mean we're going to dwell on it, but just know what the fuck the truth is. Now, bagpipes, that's your shit. <laughs> Come on. Bagpipe, and I won't be surprised if it's black. <laughs>
I won't trust me, motherfucker. Trust me. Look. You know what I mean? Bagpipes is your shit. No brother is like, hey, man, you got your bagpipes? I don't mean to use the 80s Eddie Murphy voice, it's but fuck, great. man. It's not great. I know. But you're right. <laughs> Look, everyone wants to share with each other. Right. But just give fair credit. Credit and, and appreciate respect. And respect. And I think it's Damn. all, it's honestly, it's funny because it's such a, it's been going on forever, obviously. Yes, of course it has. We been. have, we're going, we're regressing as yeah. we speak in, in the current climate. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it's like, it's really not that complicated. No, it's not. Try to teach, uh, treat people like they deserve to be treated. <laughs> yeah. If they're a piece of shit, treat them like a piece of shit. That's it. But give them a fucking chance. That's it. And that's it. It's really not <laughs> but that they complicated. Can't, but they think that, but white folks think that something is being threatened when they give someone else a chance. They feel like something, is, like, oh no, if we give the blacks, they're going to take over. Oh no, I'm going to lose my power. No! It's like a neighborhood. Like if we move into a neighborhood, oh no. Oh no, they're going to make it It's going to be black. But then they come in and gentrify all our neighborhoods. And then look at us like, we don't belong here. Like, motherfucker. Like, coming into Harlem, acting like, I'm like, like, it's like apartheid. Like, I call gentrification like apartheid sponsored by Urban Outfitters. You know what I mean? (laughs) That's what the fuck it is. Everyone has has a James Brown t-shirt or a Jimi (laughs) Hendrix t-shirt. But they're mad when black people want to get a croissant. Get the fuck out of here with that. No. I, I, the fuck out of here with that I hypocrisy. It's so, it's so much it's like, hypocrisy. But it's like, I'm, it's like, aren't you, aren't you exhausted by this shit? I'm exhausted. It like, is exhausting. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm tired. I'm tired of how fucking dumb you're being. Like, I'm done with it, man. And then it comes to, like, comes to, like, I'm gonna smack the shit out you this time. I'm just gonna fucking smack the shit out you. Fuck it. Let's just fucking rumble in a cafe. You know what I mean? I mean, it's like now you just want to hit a motherfucker because it's like enough already. Yeah. I've proven myself. You know I'm not a fucking... I saw... Yo, yesterday, this white lady thought I was like... She was a British lady. She thought I was like going to grab her purse. Like, Are you serious? I laughed. It was so stupid. But I, I, was, I had to leave and I was going to address it because I'm, I'm, I'll be like this. Really? You thought I was going to... I do that. But Good. I, I had, I had to leave. I was make late. people I was, uncomfortable I was because running they deserve late. to feel uncomfortable if they're being. Yeah, she they're t- making was, me uncomfortable. I was like, well, my shit, my bag was better than hers. Like my shit's dope. <laughs> you should have been trying to take my shit. Like I, I, I literally. So I took her purse and I beat the shit out of her with it. And I told, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just, I'm joking. I joke. I beat that bitch down. Like I was like, you fucking know. You thought I was taking your purse, didn't you? Bam. Bow, was like Vinnie Jones and fucking then Lockstock. It went, <laughs> then it went viral, and kidding. everyone's like, "This is exactly what we're talking about, black men." Yeah, that's right. They're just beating up all our white women. Hey, this is what they to. do. You got to. No, I'm just kidding. Right. 